Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, here at Telecom Exchange Los Angeles. Joining me, my good friend, Mr. Philip Marangella. He is the CMO of Edge Connects. Philip, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks, Jamie. First time here in LA. I've been to the New York one, so it's great. Thank you. And we're excited to hear you speak in the upcoming panel just a few minutes away. So um, so now it's lights, camera, action time. And boy, did you at Edge Connects have a banner year. It's been insanity, so much success and growth to the point where you were just awarded 2019 Global Carrier Award for Best Data Service Innovation. Must have felt great for the mature market for your Edge OS. Um, that was uh, over in Europe, I believe. So. Tell us more. Yeah, it, it, it's an honor, right? So kind of the little guy competing against a lot of the big guys to get uh, awarded a uh, prestigious award like that. But um, Edge OS is kind of our proprietary built uh, DSIM platform on steroids, if, if you will, um, really driven by our customers and their needs. Um, and so to get recognition for that has been fantastic. Um, it coincides with a lot of other awards we've got this past year in terms of our executives um, and leadership team and, and so forth. So um, yeah, just continuing the drumbeat. And um, um, it's great to be uh, recognized for, the, for what the company has done. Yeah. Absolutely, and you guys definitely are tearing it up. Yeah. I just even heard a lot of chat about this Edge book on cloud adoption that you guys just released, uh, cloud adoption and, and migration strategies. Can you share some insights, a, a peek inside that ebook? Yeah, it's it's just, look, it, it's something that we do at uh, a lot of our own events um, where we, we um, collaborate with our partners to talk about the common issues um, around cloud adoption and, and the impediments and how we're collaborating to help solve for that. So it's just trying to highlight, hey, whether it's it's latency issues or lack of cloud expertise, um, and and how are we working to help solve for that, right? And, and try to address a lot of those adoption um, uh, problems for companies uh, locally around the, uh, around the country and so forth and give them a little bit of insight into how, who, where, what, and so forth. Yeah, and congratulations too on that uh, Edge uh, Connects uh, Beers with Peers event series. That yeah. is so cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm really enjoying those. Our last one, we had over 400 people down in Austin, so it was great. And and look, it's whether it's it's the cloud ebook, um, you know, Edge OS, or our Beers with Peers. It's about our customers, about our partners. It's it's and it's just bringing the community together to to, to and work together to solve a lot of these problems. That's what's great about it. Yeah, and honestly, uh, knowing you and your team, putting those customers' concerns and and uh, needs up front and core of your business model, it's 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 amazing to watch you guys grow that way. And just to add, I mean, that's what Telecom Exchange is about, right? Same concept, right? And this is what's great about coming here and you know this, the last session we had. Um, it wasn't just people talking about their companies, it was the whole audience interacting and talking about some of the common issues, okay. you highlighting the action items of what we should do and so forth. And that's why um, text in the same vein is so, so compelling and great to be a part of. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's all about collaboration in this industry, for sure. Giving people the, those types of um, um, uh, places that they can actually, the, the soapboxes, I guess, that people can go ahead and, and stand up and, and get their voice. Um, you've made a number of announcements talking about getting yourselves heard uh, regarding your partnerships in international markets, among others. Can you give our viewers just to, you know a recap, if you know any insights on what we can expect as we close out this year and maybe 2020? Looking forward. Yeah, we've had a lot of announcements this year in terms of expansions in South America, further, um, you know, into Buenos Aires. Um, we'll have further expansion uh, news around uh, additional markets in South America going into next year. Same for Europe, right? We announced Munich, we announced Warsaw. You'll hear more markets next year, more expansions next year from us, um, driven by our, again our customers, right? Their growth is 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 driving our growth to uh, support and enable them. Um, in the same vein. We've had a number of partnerships um, and key customers. Uh, Rackspace was a big announcement for us and goes to the Cloud eBook. They're a key integrated partner to help customers figure out what workloads and where and who to connect to and all that kind of stuff, right? And particularly at the edge. So um, continue to expand with the, the partnership announcements in those, that same vein as well. So 
essentially after your already U.S. takeover, you're also now in South America and Europe takeover mode. Got it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Yes. All right. So it's holiday season. Got to end with this question. Mm. Do you have any type of holiday wish? Uh, is, uh, I've flown almost 150,000 miles, so I'll just be happy to be home, yeah. be with the family, and then uh, I'll see you at PTC and in January, right? right? So back at it. So yep. Home for the holidays. Yes. Definitely on my wish list as well. Thank you so much for coming out and joining us and, and providing your yeah. speaking ex expertise here at Telecom Exchange. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.